Okay, we're on Madison Avenue in Culver City, and we were looking where they filmed Hog Wild in 1930. Now, this actual house here wasn't here at the time, and I understand there was a facade made for them to climb up uh, onto the roof. And so the, how I found this, remember I took pictures off of the screen and went up and down the street? Well, where Ollie rolled off of the, the roof, there was a picture of the house next door, kind of a Spanish style, two-story house. And that would be the house next door. So that is how I found this particular location, not from this location where there was no house, but from there. And then if you go up on the roof with Ollie, you can see across the street that that house is still located right there. That house way over there, the white one. And you can see the chimney and uh, the entrance way that's curved. Well, it was in Culver City, it was easy to get to, easy to film. And you notice these two very large palms? When they filmed Hogwild here, the palms were about this high. And look at them now. You can't even see the second one. I bought this in 1999, and uh, I remember seeing this house in the films. Uh, but there's a nice big house in the back, and I rent out the front, and uh, people come by every once in a while to say, uh, hey, look at that. This is my house here. The house that was actually the house in the movie was sits in the back, way back here. But when they filmed it, in fact, you can still see the garage. It's a small garage, and it's a, uh, a carriage house, as they call it. Our house was the house where they probably had all their film crew set up, because every time that they would pull in the driveway, which I was shooting this way. And the crew would have been here. Yeah, that's what it would have been. This would have been to park, park up and get all the kids out. My understanding is that they built a facade out there. Right. The person coming up taking the census knocked on the door and they said, oh, they're gone, but they'll be back tonight. By the time they came back tonight, the whole thing was gone. So there was no house. So you can only imagine what the census taker thought. <laughs> I've owned the house 20 years now, the property. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice as there's history. Culver City's full of movie history, you know? So no, it's, it's, it's great. I've seen the movie that was and you see these palm trees as babies yeah. and the Spanish duplex next door and this house is just in the back. You can also see on the roof that there's the MGM water tower on one side and another water tower on the other and the Culver Hills was that close. Exactly. So it gave me a good area. It's still a good size area, but uh, it took a while to do, hone in on it. We did that in 1977. Well, beautiful, beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs>